What's up, everybody? Welcome to Good Time Society. My name is Becca Scott, and I am so excited because this episode you're watching right now is Epic Encounters Local Legends. We're about to play some D&D, y'all. Woo! Woo! All right, so what is Local Legends, you may ask? Well, this is a 5E supplement that comes with a booklet and scenario just to sprinkle in amidst your larger campaign, or if you're a starting DM, this is the perfect way for you to get in to some role playing with your friends. Uh, and I'm so excited for my friends who are here today. So let's meet them, shall we? Starting over here, we have Michelle Wynn Bradley. Michelle, tell us about you. Hi, I'm Michelle Wynn Bradley. Um, and oh wait, me or like a character also? I got And confused. also your character. Yeah, my name is Michelle Wynn Bradley, and uh, I'm so excited to be here today. Uh, you can find me on shows like. Uh, over at Hunters Entertainment or Hyper RPG or sometimes on Critical Role. And today I am playing Basil, the chromatic dragon warlock who loves, loves, loves the great old one and is trying to get the word out there about the great old one. And would you like a pamphlet? And it's weird. <laughs> it's getting weird. <laughs> and I made it work. Yeah. There was a goblin. Uh, <laughs> Vince Castle. Hi, Becca. Hi, tell us about you and your character. <laughs> Hi, I'm Vince Casso. Uh, I'm playing Swam, the orc artificer baker, and I'm very excited to be uh, jumping into this campaign with my friends. Yeah, we're <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Carlos Luna. Hey, what's going on? Oh, you know, just regular <laughs> being real normal. Cool, cool, over cool. Here. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, I'm going to be playing this character called Tapto. He's a forest gnome, rogue. He's kind of a burnout. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> oh man, the player's emotion is so at odds with the character's oh, yeah. emotion. That's strong. Sage Ryan. Hello, yes, I am the aforementioned Sage Ryan. <laughs> uh, and I am playing Evanora Dagenhart. Evanora is a fairy paladin and the protector of Terra Hova in her heart. <laughs> That's right. To our viewers, the adventure that our players have just come back from is going to be an episode for you. We like to keep our timelines non-conventional here, and we just really wanted to show you local legends because uh, we're all about that tavern start, y'all. So, back to today's session, you're gonna need to know a little bit more about these characters. Swam, tell us more about your hijinks with baking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do hijink. Uh, so I'd just say, one. just, just I do, I do a high jink. I've been known to high jink. Uh, yes, well, uh, I, I have opened a bakery and been baking quite a bit and trying to uh, get the people of Terra Hova into the concept of these sweet, creamy treats. Um, and I'm never gonna creamy? say that again in <laughs> any online medium. I do think it's time to maybe get away from town a little bit and bring some of those treats with me and my friends and uh, stake out to uh, explore a little bit, get away, relax a little bit. And that is in fact what all of you are doing as you are on the side of the road right now. That one dirt, dirty, dirt road. No mud in this part of the world. <laughs> it's just dry dirt. dirt. Just dry dirt. It's, it's plains dirt. as far as the eye can see. Uh, and you can't see much because it is still dark outside. You are set up in a couple little tents all together. And Michelle, Basel. Yes, hello, my name is Basel. Tell us a little bit about <laughs> why <laughs> Basel wanted to bring these Hova's heroes out from the town that you all love so much into other parts of the world. Well, I know that Swam was you know, complaining about needing a break, and everyone, you know, mm. loves. Everyone really loves the, the old, the old, the old moist town of Terra Hova so much. And it, you know, it's mm. been it's been nice. I've been spreading the word of the great old one quite well there. But there's like only like maybe a hundred people who live there, so less, maybe fifty. I don't, I can't even count. But um, I decided that you know they want to go on vacation. I need to spread the word of the great old one. Let's take a little road trip. So you know, I they don't. I'm I'm kind of on a work trip, and they're all on vacation. But I did bring you know some pamphlets. I've got you know my little I've got like a little rolly bag of. Uh, uh, some <laughs> information brochures about the great old one. So if uh, you know we could go to this new new uh, tavern I've heard about. Uh, I hear there's a lot of uh, a lot of people come through there, a lot of travelers. So uh, I help spread the word to every corner of of this world. 
Indeed, you did meet some travelers passing through Terahova who had recently been to the Nodding Dragon. And when they described the clientele and the sheer numbers and the lack of religiosity of many of the patrons, your opportunity was clear. Yes, yeah, so to make sure they are not smited down when the Great Old One comes to reclaim its land, but that's a story for another time. Uh, yes, we're here to spread the word. And tell us what Basil looks like as she. Uh, pro- what are your pro- Basil's pronouns? I feel like I'm, I'm, a, I'm sort of like a, a she, her, they, them situation. Just everything. I mean, I'm dragon do as dragon does, so. Sure. <laughs> What does this dragon look like oh, in that's their right. sleeping bag or cot or whatever it is they oh. chose to bring on these travels? I don't know. You don't bring a cot camping? Oh, I guess no. That... I'm flat on my back in the dirt underneath the stars. <laughs> um, disgusting. Uh, no, I have a, I'm a tall, uh, white, chromatic dragon. I've got little spectacles. Um, I don't actually need them. I just feel like it gives me some, like, oomph, you know, when I talk to people, when I... When I you know, lev- lev- levity when I'm talking about the great old one. Um, I've got, like I said, a little rolly bag. It folds out into like a little a little pop-up tent so that I have a little place to stay when we're on the road at night. Um, and a little, you know, a little bunch of thrush to uh, lay upon and a little blanket, silk. And uh, yeah, that's, um, that's me. Do you I sleep with your magic- glasses on? Um, I try to, but you know when you do that thing when you lay on your side and it kind of smushes into your, your nose, it gets uncomfortable. Yeah. So I, I kind of, sometimes I do this, sometimes I take it off. Mm-hmm. Also, uh, maybe in a tent aside, you let me know uh, whether you share <laughs> a tent or not. Um, Evanora. Yeah, so Evanora is actually on the outside of the tent, sitting at like the closest edge to the forest. Um, And she's like leaned up against a tree in a tiny sleeping bag. Um, She is a fairy, so she's a small creature. Um, She has deep like brown hair with shades of blue and purple that kind of sparkle throughout it. And she's curled up in her little tent and she has her eyes like just barely open and she's trying so hard to stay awake to watch out and like do a watch for camp. Even though we didn't really decide we needed one, we're not in theory, in any danger. We didn't set up a watch schedule because we are simply traveling, Um, but she has taken it upon herself to try so hard to stay awake and keep an eye out for everyone, but she's just... (laughs) She like wakes up with her eyes like a little more peeled every time trying so hard. And as her eyes are peeled open, looking past over her friends, she sees last but not least Tiptoe. Tiptoe, how do you sleep? Tepto is, uh, he can't sleep right now. Uh, his eyes are closed, but he's so excited because uh, every single time he hangs out uh, with this crew, it's the furthest away from home he's been. <laughs> uh, so this, this time it's the furthest away. Uh, it's, it's a vacation for him. He's wearing, uh, he's in every single vacation cliche that there is. He's got like a little uh, beaded braid on the side that you get when you go to like the islands. Oh, <laughs> wow. uh, in case they go, uh, he's got like sunscreen on his nose. He's wearing a shirt that says, Hove is where the heart is. Uh, <laughs> where the heart is. <laughs> he is, uh, he's wearing uh, like floral shorts and uh, flip flops. And he's he's super excited to uh, you know he's like I wonder what what trouble we'll get into I wonder what trouble we're gonna get into tomorrow I don't know maybe maybe we'll fight someone really cool maybe we'll just make friends with everyone maybe I'll be president he's just the As, possibility and when he talk, his eyes closed <laughs> well he's just, trying to sleep yeah. it's that Christmas <laughs> thing of just like the yeah. sooner I go to sleep the sooner I can wake up. <laughs> But as Taptoe wonders about Christmas and presidency, (laughs) the sun starts to rise and the traffic on this one road starts to fill with wagons all seemingly going in the same direction. It's just north and south. That's all this road does. And uh, they're all headed north. I was awake the whole time. Uh, Evanora, you'd also catch a a waft of vanilla uh, in the tent as a little uh, armed and legged cream treat, custard treat, uh, comes down from a tree and brings you a little cup of espresso (laughs) as my homunculus servant, Snack, sits with you to try and help get you up in the morning. Thank you, I I don't need it, but I'll thank you. And she'll like toss it back really quick. Okay, and she'll like flutter into the center of the camp to make sure everybody's up. (gasps) I'm ready. 
Can you send that that circle thing friend of yours mm. over here? I'd, I'd really love I'd really love a bit of coffee as well. It's, it's a rough morning. I didn't sleep super good. <clears throat> if I'm honest, I don't know where he got it. It's that, oh, it's that I wouldn't trust the source. Small, small circle, come, come, come here. Small circle. <laughs> What shape is it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. You're not wrong. I don't know what's <laughs> so <laughs> <you're> familiar <laughs> snack. Yes. Uh, named after its predecessor, snack. Yes. Oh, there have been many snacks. <laughs> oh, are they all clones? <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you like to control your familiar? Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, now I'm taking over. Certainly. Please. Please. He does his own thing during the night. <clears throat> yeah. 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 So snack will yeah. walk over to you as well, and. Um, you see he sort of brulees in a bit of a <laughs> contemplation. Uh, brulees in <laughs> contemplation! <laughs> and he just bubbles and chars a little bit, and then goes back over to uh, the tree we were camping under and comes back around the far side with another steaming cup of espresso. <clears throat> hey, little, little thing, what, where, did you, where did you make this from exactly? Is it from your body or from the... Uh, I wish I had asked before. Evan already dead? Not yet. It's probably fine. Just drink it. <laughs> uh, right. Give me a constitution check, Evan. What, what the hell? <laughs> Snack, come on, man. Okay, so it's uh, it's not looking great for me, if I'm honest. Is it a save or a check? Uh, it's a save. Okay. 13. 13. Five. Five. Okay. Uh, and then if you could roll for Snack a... Um, Oh, let's see. Uh, can you make my tart nice? <laughs> can we just? Can he be cool? I want him to have a. Digestive You're the system. one who said you didn't. You didn't trust the source. What am I rolling? <laughs> You're rolling medicine. Oh. <laughs> well, in that case. Oh, that's how bad uh, died. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be. This is alphabetical. How is that a minus one? Oh, it's wisdom. Come I, on. I think, oh. I think that Snack gets a plus three to medicine checks. Um, Great, that would be a 12. Okay. Well, if it's a flat 10 on his roll, then yeah, 13. Yeah. Evanora, you feel fine, you feel great, you were absolutely telling the truth. Basil, you're starting to feel a little tummy rumbly. You're gonna need to get to an outhouse soon. <laughs> this is so, like, my It's my <laughs> game, we Vince. Just, <laughs> we just started. My custard treat servant is making you have to crap. <laughs> Why? Hmm. We just woke up. <laughs> All right, it's, everyone. <laughs> it's a magic discomfort. Snacks, you gave the dragonborn espresso? Uh, We've talked about this. Okay, I love in this fantasy world we've created, we are having very human problems. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look, uh, write what you know. Yeah. Sna Snack, I have tums in the bag. Please. <laughs> the rules don't lie. Um, okay. Evanora flutters over to Tapto's tent and just kind of like flies over and like kicks her little feet on the top of the tent to like wake him up. He was able to fall asleep. Uh, he, he, he like shoots up, oh yeah, let's get going. And like, I am too blessed to be stressed. He starts like folding up his sleeping bag. He's like, let's get it. And he like, he hits one stick on his like tent and it all folds up really quickly. And there it pops it. I'm in danger! <laughs> <laughs> Did you get stuck in the tent? Wait, wait were you? I, I thought you were on top of the tent. I was! No, oh, okay, yeah, you definitely fall. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's wrapped up in the tent as it like condenses really quickly, squirming her way out of it. Can I have a D6, please? Okay. Uh, how big are you? Small? Um. <laughs> can you please take one point falling damage? Yeah, I can. Oh, but you can fly. I can fly. I was concerned that I was going to get because it was like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, In <laughs> Sure. Yeah, so, absolutely. Uh, roll for dex for me. Uh, with advantage because if you were aware ish. Uh, dex check or dex save? Check. Mm. Okay, so then I've got a 12. <laughs> Uh, it, it catches your leg a bit. Oh, um. oh no. Uh, hey. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm good. I'm nah, good. that's cool. Hey, no one, no one drink anything the custard makes. He was, <laughs> he was mixing stuff last night. Cool, thanks for the, <clears throat> the Cool, yeah. I was, I was he starting. likes to get experimental with the local flora. That's great. Hey, I, you know, yeah, I, I, I love having a relaxing morning trip and everything, but can we, can we get, get to the go-go here? Because I... No, I no, I just feel real bad because oh. your little friend gave me some 
bad, bad juice or something. I don't know. I should have asked some more questions about it before drinking it. Uh. Cut to, you've been walking along the road for some while. As you see, where many of the wagons that you were walking alongside have started to um, park in, in all kinds of haphazard rows. And in the center, there is a glorious looking building, a large imposing structure on this very populated bit of road. There doesn't seem to be anything else around, not much of a town. This is a wayside for travelers. And uh, you see many traders. There's a few that have set up stands with all the people coming in and out, but it, it doesn't seem that anybody permanently lives here except for the innkeepers. And as you walk closer, you see a sign above that says, Nodding Dragon. It has an arms above the door with a, uh, a dragon, of course. Many neutral banners, obviously, <laughs> not trying to ruffle any feathers here. Um, do you go inside or is there anything you'd like <clears throat> to do before entering? I run to the door. Basil, whoa, hey. I, it's Basil, I run to the door. <laughs> is it? I kick it Brazil. open. <laughs> you all just say what you want. It's not a, I, I, I'm, look, I'm looking for a bathroom. <laughs> all right. As you push the doors open, you see two dozen tables, a giant bubbling cauldron in the center of the room, a, a huge hearth with lots of cooking meats on a grill and seats all around it like a bar, um, another bar off to the side, and you see uh, an outhouse this way <laughs> door that just goes straight out back the, the back Incredible. of the building. It's like a little arrow, like an arrow, but it's like a finger pointing. <laughs> yeah, uh, and... Yeah, it's a roll for this. What is happening? <laughs> You're able to push through the crowd cool. and uh, make it out to the back door as you see five different outhouses all lined up. Is this a puzzle? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> One of these is a mimic. All the wild. doors are locked. <laughs> uh, we cut back to the front. Oh, do you want me to ask for the key before you go? Oh, okay. It's probably a code situation. It's like it. the last four of the phone. Yeah, they probably have. I'm busy setting up a folding table where I've put a tray of sweet treats and a stack of pamphlets, and I have a little sign that I've written that I stick on the front that says cults and cream puffs. Just right there, tape it down. This is perfect, lots of foot traffic, and we'll be able to finally uh, expose some new people. Why am I talking to you? <laughs> expose some new people to uh, what we have to offer here. We've really sort of exhausted Terra Hold. Do you think I we think. have to ask permission for that? Do you think someone would care? No, we... this must be just like Terra Hova, where you can just kind of put anything anywhere. That's what I assume too. Yeah. <laughs> I've only ever been that one place. Unless I said something different in the prequel episodes. <laughs> for what reason would we ever have to go anywhere else? No. Okay, so I will like flutter up above it to try and make a little bit of like a spectacle around Swamp to try and draw attention to this like table. Um, so she'll just kind of like throw around little bits of like nonsensical magic essentially um, that don't actually have any effect or anything um, just to try and like highlight what's happening uh, even if it gets us in trouble. <laughs> sure. <laughs> try and like signal out to people to come and visit the stand. Roll for performance. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's a 12. Hey. All right. <laughs> Hello. And that's the reaction you get from the people. <laughs> like, oh no. Hey. Hey. Okay. Yeah, that, Most of thing. these travel travelers, it's getting to midday. The sun is very high. It's very hot. Many of the travelers glance over at Colts and Cream Puffs and don't take much notice. Oh. But. Um, you do see one humanoid woman who comes out of a side door of the inn carrying a large bag of trash. Uh, obviously, putting it in the bins where regular trash pickup is. No, that's uh, the one I want to talk to. I'm sure right a thing. There. Yeah, and uh, you see as she goes around near the outhouses, she throws the bag on top of a huge mound, landfill size amount of trash. Just sitting there stinking it up. Um, and as she walks back, she says, oh, are you newcomers, right? Yes, yes, we are new in town. We are Hova's heroes. Uh, Margaret, pleasure. 
I'm uh, the the bar hand here. She's got short red hair. She is tall, very fit. Um, she must do a lot of lifting of barrels to help. <laughs> you know, as you do. That's a lot of trash. A very specific barrel muscle shape there. Yes. Oh. She's got she's got those barrel muscles. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. 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 Are the outhouses usually this busy at this time? Is there, is there a key? <laughs> Oh, of course there's a key. You think we'd let non-customers use that? There's so many people pass through. It makes oh. sense. We should probably handle that. I mean, she probably broke the door down by now. <clears throat> you see um, Basil's like sort of peeking out from behind one of the outhouses like, mm. <laughs> and if you if you were to walk around the back, you would notice that in the back of the outhouse, I have cast shatter and I've broken like the back of the <laughs> <laughs> the thing you get in. in I'm done now. Though. Of the <laughs> like, because I couldn't get to the door. Over the toilet. I had, I had <laughs> enough yeah. like worth all to try to hide that I was breaking in and out. <laughs> oh no, we're actually good. Never mind. Uh, um, roll for stealth. Cool. <laughs> I'm real good at that. Roll to stealthily oh. shatter. It wasn't Ooh. in the bin. Does it count as a natural twenty? Yeah. Oh, it counts. Yay. It counts. Yay. Yeah. Uh, I'm so, so sneaky. Yeah, you, you, no one notices, even the people waiting in line for the other outhouses. Oh my God, there's a queue. <laughs> <laughs> it's just red bear. <laughs> Pull someone out. <laughs> None of them <clears throat> notice a thing. Incredible. You get in there, apparently no one was even in that stall. And uh, you successfully rejoin the party out front speaking with Margaret, <clears throat> the bar help. So um, Margaret steps up and she says, Colts and cream puffs. I've never seen a boot like this. Do you want a cream puff or a colt? It's not a colt. It's just, there's pamphlets. I don't, you know, I, I take, I go to the sign, I scratch up the colt part, and I just write. Do you want a cream puff? A normal <laughs> club. <laughs> and if you said yes to the colt part, you can't like have it. It's not. It doesn't become your colt. We're not giving away colts. Oh, we're giving like admission. Oh, they don't each get their own. No, no, we, we are bringing a, a series of belief a belief system into this into this world to celebrate a great power that looks over us all all the time. It's me. Oh, that's fun. Well, I, I can't say that I am um, much for cults. In fact, I don't know that I really know what they are much. I haven't been very far. I grew up very near here. Oh, it's just it's just like a club, but a cool club. I mean, we're all part of it, right? You're all part of it, right? Oh, it's just a club. Roll for deception. It's not the <laughs> As both of us go. <laughs> <laughs> cults are clubs and churches are cults and clubs are it's just it's about the outfits, you know? It's it's comes the down circle to it. of life. Oh boy. Okay, that's <clears throat> niner plus what is this deception? Ooh, 10, 11, 11 total. <laughs> it's higher than hers. Ah, just a fun club. But well, I will join then if there's no entrance fee. I don't make much here at the bar. Oh, no, no entrance fee at all. Here, here you go. And I um, oh. I grab a pamphlet and give her, you know, all the Tepto things. Tepto is walking around the bar because he just wants to, like, learn new things and new customs. And, like, he's just, like, picking through her stuff while she's there, uh, while she's talking to them. And he's just like... You've never been a part of a club before? Ooh, what's this? Oh. What um what do you guys get up to around here? Are you digging through the giant pile of trash? I'm no, I'm like <laughs> behind the bar. I'm like behind the bar oh, around, are you around all the table. Inside? Oh, I thought we were building, inside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. I, put, I put my table up inside the bar. I <laughs> inside outside. the bar. Oh okay. yeah, no. Yeah, that's no. What I was like, look, you ask look at this beautiful map of where we are right now. Tapto, as you wander around the bar, um, you notice someone's looking at you. Um, in front of me or around me or where? where? As you're peeking around, digging through, what was it you were digging through? <sighs> I don't know, just anything old. Like, you know how they have like uh, a bunch of uh, things uh, <laughs> behind the bar that are just uh -huh. like postcards and you know, like knickknacks and tchotchke type stuff. This you know is I mean? definitely the type with frame photos of anyone who, <laughs> any adventurer who has ever been known. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, they got a portrait taken and they frame that. So, gotcha. sure. If you Absolutely. find a keychain with swam on it, let me know. I can never find one. Okay, swarm, uh, <laughs> swam, um, swell, swam, swell, right? swell <laughs> uh, bort. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this one's out of play. <laughs> they have a loose alpha <laughs> I have to spin the thing. <laughs> um, the bartender comes over. Uh, a mustachioed gentleman. Also strong, that barrel life, you know? And um, um, a, a bronze tan skin. 
He says, "Are you looking for boards?" Yeah. Uh, um, no, no, I'm not looking. I'm not looking for board. Um, mm, we're out of. We're at, that's the last board that I've got. <laughs> I mean, it looks like, and you have six rings where Bort was supposed to be, so I mean, it's gets killed. A lot of Borts have been coming <laughs> yeah. through. I think it was one of those naming trends that happened, and everyone's coming of age now. Yeah, yeah, um, You got a real intense vibe right now. <laughs> That's cool. I'm gonna step out from the other side of the bar because I feel like I'm in your space. You right? definitely are. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. It's just you got a lot of cool stuff here. I just want to learn more. Are you looking for a job? Um, no, not right now. I'm actually on vacation. I and should have known. The flip-flops. Yeah. Uh, about that braid in your hair. Yeah, is, that not, is that not culturally <laughs> It's a little <laughs> appropriate. That, that I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You take it out. I, I thought about it. grew up on an island. Oh, so and, uh, I wasn't going to say anything. I didn't know. I I've didn't, never left Terre Haute. I'm so, I didn't mean I'm so, I'm so sorry. Um, I, didn't, I didn't know. Um, I it's knew. Fine. I didn't say anything because I don't, I don't care. <laughs> All right. World's watching. I got this. this I got this. I got this cool curl now. <laughs> 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 it's weird. It's because it's a braid. I've been a few places. I was a soldier. Oh really? Day, yeah. He points up to um, some weapons that are pla placard mounted uh, above the bar. Placarded. Picarded. No. Yeah, I, Picarded. Picarded, nice. Yeah, I feel like oh. as soon as he says soldier, even from the other side of the bar, Evanora just like <laughs> ears start like ringing. She like feels it in her heart and I mean, like rushes over. You could buzz over there real fast because I'm you over. have a flying speed. You can move above many of the tables you'd have yeah, to pass. I am buzzing over at him saying that he was like a hero of some kind or a soldier. Uh, another traveler friend? Everyone's a traveler here. A bit of a night, actually. Oh, pardon me, uh, sir. S E R. Um, hey, what's what's your name? Me. They call me Portos. Portos. Nice to meet you. Portos my Jimes. My wife Agatha and I. We own the Nodding Dragon. What do you think of the place? Place is amazing. You got so many cool things going on over here. You got food over there. You got people. You must hear so many interesting stories. Oh uh, well, that's Agatha's. Oh. It's really intense. It's all intense, right? It's pretty intense. <gasps> all right. It's my eyes. They teach you in, in the military to always sleep with your eyes open. But as a knight, I don't know if you know about that. Oh, I definitely do, and I'm good at it, and I succeed every time. You know what? Is he, is he asleep right now, though? <laughs> <laughs> he's, been, he's been stirring the same drink really slowly oh. in a way that you're like, he might I'm not be really asleep. Sure. Oh, hello! Welcome oh. to the Nodding Dragon. Oh, I nodded off there for a moment. My name is Portos Chimes. Yeah. N nice to meet you. Have we met before? Oh yeah, like a few minutes ago. It's cool though. My name's Tapto. Uh, I'm on vacation. Uh, oh, I like your uh, wavy hair oh, there in front. Thank you. That's really nice. <laughs> Never seen anything like that in all my travels as a soldier. Oh, that's Do you know I was a soldier? He points again to the mounted weapons. Oh, Very yeah. impressive. I'm Evanora. I'm a knight. And one of Hoba's heroes, of course. Ah, yes. You've probably heard of us. No. You've heard oh, of, you have. You've heard of Terra Hova? Uh, uh, it's, yeah, there's no, a lot of travelers from many places. Coolest place that has. Moistest town you've ever been to. Good stuff and good people. Oh, now that you say moist, it does ring a few ding a ling bells. It's, what? It's, it's incredibly, it's an incredibly wet, wet Very wet town. Stra wet and strange town. Uh, by the way, if you, if it's hard to remember who we are, what, what we're here, what we're doing, just, you know, have a pamphlet. Um, and I feel like. I've got the pamphlet about the great old one. I've got a little postcard about uh, Terra Hova. I've got a little and a little card about, um, that has our Hova's Heroes contact information, which I don't know how you uh, you send a letter. I don't know. Look, uh, <laughs> <laughs> contact your local the witch to contact us. Yeah. And not to oh, feel right, left right. out, I have a little sticker that's a cream puff that's a scratch and sniff. It smells like vanilla. <laughs> Normally, I'm the ones passing things out from behind this bar, but today, the treasures are for me. Do you have any more borts? <laughs> what? It's not your name. Why would you need One bort remaining. Only, mm, <laughs> you know what? It's the last one. What? It's the, it's these it's things not. are like, like fantasy beanie babies. They're collector's items. Are they? I, it is um, twig to make the, the twine circle <laughs> of the keychain, and then just a little scrap of leather with bort 
um, burned into it. You can't go on vacation and come back with nothing. We need souvenirs, I think. You know what? I'll take the board. Oh, excellent. Do you have That'll a be, uh, uh, one silver piece. Oh my god. Do you have money? We're on vacation. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, Everything's yeah. more expensive on vacation. We travel. It's yeah. fine. Mm, okay. We Here. are a tourist destination. There's Here's not the much else. Well, look, hey, this is the largest building I've ever seen in my life. If I grew up in Terre Haute. <sighs> It Which took, you did. I definitely did. I definitely did. Really yeah. Probably did. Yeah. yeah. I feel like you did. Um, <clears throat> you know, heroes, you say? Yes. Perhaps there's something you could help with. We've been plagued a bit by, well, something that lurks in the forest. Mm -hmm. I wish I could say it was something heard of, but this thing, it's got an agenda. I'm anyway, sorry. uh, with <laughs> ale? No, no, wait, wait, I'm sorry, this, ah. And Evanora drops under the bar on the front side, like the customer facing side, but just out of sight, and then pops back up in her armor. Oh! <gasps> An agenda, you say? Um, roll, roll, <laughs> uh, for whatever you want to, using charisma. <laughs> and uh, to have advantage for that reveal. Thank you. I'm not doing good at <laughs> it's an things, things if I am honest. Um, my highest is a 15. Oh. I used a performance for that. Sure. For a little bit of flair. Have you heard of a creature with four legs, one beak, many feathers? And also maybe some fur? An owlbear, they call them. Oh, okay. Oh, you answered the question. No. I, I, yeah. I didn't know. I, I'm answer. glad you answered that for us. Yeah. I didn't know. You never <laughs> you've heard of an owlbear? Nope, just from Terra Hova. Just from Terra Hova. Wait, do we have those there? I don't think so. No. no. No, we know. <laughs> not anymore. Um, I've never seen, I'm, I'm not from Terra Hova, but I've not seen one either, but I've heard about them in books. They're just big. And they eat a lot, right? That's kind of the whole thing. Sure, yeah. It can be confusing at first glance. You might think, how cute, big fuzzy bear, furry head, mm -hmm. a feathery head. Okay. With little tiny ears and turning that head all the way around. Yes. It's not cute. Sir, I can't help the curiosity though, but with a tavern this oft frequented and all the travelers and adventurers you must see coming through here, why are you coming to us with this? You don't know a thing about us. Oh, I just heard pray tell of heroes. You seemed known to me. In fact, I, uh, well, anyone who seems up for adventure, I do send them this way. In fact, there's a whole other party of adventurers right over there that- Or do they just do it? an interest. As you turn around at the table behind you, you see uh, someone quickly avert their gaze from you specifically, Swam. An Ooh. orc barbarian with a green pallor to her skin. Oh, a God. A large, large orc. And uh, she has short, straight, bobbed brown hair. And you recognize Mutter Bello. How, how did our vacations line up that perfectly? <laughs> I, we she, all got the same week off. <laughs> she yeah. said, the entire town shuts down for one week. She said, no, I'm heading south this here. year. Yeah. Yeah. The coast is great this time of year. I'm like, you know what, great. I just, uh, sorry, I'm heading north. Oh, how that works out. You know what, the mistake was saying it to tell her that I was doing that. No. For a little bit of context for our audience, this orc was held captive by some kobolds up to no good on a previous adventure of Hova's Heroes. You can find that episode in a few weeks after this one comes out. Check the description below. Look, I love Mortadella, she's great, but I just feel like we can't... Do you love her? I, I don't know. Actually, it's Morta Bello. Mutter, that was Mutter so Bello. quiet. It's, she's... <laughs> Right behind, she's right, she's right behind me. She's, she's right behind me, isn't she? And when you turn, she's just breathing heavily. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Mutter Bello, you know my name. I've known you since since elementary school. Hey, what's up? She uh, still has the her signature emo side bangs. Oh, totally. But now she's sporting an eye patch under those bangs. And Whoa. you notice a big scar across <gasps> her cheek. And you also notice that her clothing style has changed a little bit. A little bit more 
leather. Wait, how long has it been? A few more spikes. <laughs> so it's, huh? it's been, um, yeah, it's been. <laughs> One week since. You let it, this happened in a week? You decided to go on vacation. Portobello, it's been a week. Uh, a couple months since uh, you oh. yet again saved the town of Terra Hope. Still, though, what okay. have you been up to, Morty? <laughs> mutt. Oh. Yeah, man. It's mutt. like mutt. That's right. My friends call me mutt now. <laughs> Obviously, no. everybody in town knows except you, Swamp. Swamp. I mean, sorry, can we just have a. Swamp. I mean. It's got a bit of a glow up, like the eye patch is a little bit mysterious. It's just, I'm not really... In a place. Cool. I'm just, it's, it's not me. It's, okay. Wait, no, yeah. it is me. It is oh, me. It's not her. It's not... It's not Marvel's kind of hot now. That's just not really my, my, my game. No, I'm, okay, yeah. I'm She's, focused on my craft. Yeah, okay. She does look pretty tough. She um definitely still has this sort of awkward vibe. Um, her shoulders are way hunched, but you know, when you're much taller than everyone else around you, that, that happens. And uh, she, she just stands there breathing heavily on oh. her shoulder. Do you think You've should, been drinking ale. <laughs> I think we should try to maybe get her away from the swamp. Maybe she can get interested in I don't know, a, a new flame or something. You know, I think she's got it she going on. Leather, but, right? No, 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 no. Oh, I'm sorry. I really <laughs> said that. No, 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 no. Oh, that's my bad. I meant introduce her to someone around. It's, it's got to be people in the in this the large tavern that she can meet and kind of. You want me to set them up? You want me to set Mutt up with someone else? Is I mean, it? Are you whispering? This is true love. I cannot do that. I cannot do that to Swan. Did we land on Mutt? Is that what we're are going? We, yeah, yeah, we landed on Mutt. Okay, Mutt. Uh, <laughs> you, you've been up. <laughs> I Money. don't like the way you say it, though. <laughs> That's I mean, my all, name. We all said it very nice. I can't not pronounce it that way. Okay, I was Mutt. just making sure. Mutt. Mutt. <laughs> this is a little softer. Muddy. Uh, where? <laughs> where the eye? What? How? How'd you? What, what's up? <laughs> what are you up to the last couple months? Look. She survived. She's hunching. Look. Oh, she has that barrel lifting shirt. I can tell when you're not interested, and my feelings for you have not changed. But I'm fine with our relationship as it stands. In fact, I have found an adventuring party of my own, since you all never invited me to join yours. Well, that's great. What do you call yourselves? What's your group name? Oh, I, think, I think you know. Hova's... <laughs> yeah? A haggard. <laughs> what? <laughs> We don't care about being the shiniest oh, in armor haggard. or the best dressed with our oh, latest uh, tourist out. gear. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And so I look over to the group, the actual adventuring party, and am I just seeing like a half dozen people who are just kind of screwed up looking? Uh, <laughs> are they just bad imitations of us? Oh, <laughs> just, are they just world versions? I hope they all have eye patches. They're yeah, all just yeah. the eye patch versions. They're all, they're all yeah. the anti us. They all have the goatees. <laughs> you do. See. She got really into soups. She <laughs> mom makes see. soups for some people. Um, a, a dragonborn <laughs> male presenting with very spiky blue hair. You see a tiny uh, little. Is that another fairy? You haven't seen other many other mm. fairies, but you do. Um, they, they don't seem to be from Terra Hova, this group. It seems that Mutter has gone out on her own and made some new friends. Uh, and then, of course, uh, there is, is a, a mountain gnome. But this mountain Ooh, gnome... Is in a suit. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> Bow tie. How is a shoe so clean? I do rock in a three-piece. All that is true. Um, he's, he's at the table tinkering, just building oh. tools and sharpening um, sharpening a sword that uh, looks like it would fit perfectly into the scabbard that Mutt is wearing. Anyway, my adventuring party's pretty sweet. We've already got our next mission, and I think we're gonna go big places after we leave the Nodding Dragon. So, you know, the fact that you don't want anything to do with me is not a problem. I'm fine with it, Swam. Mutter, if I may ask, this next mission of yours, does it happen to be taking place in a forest in pursuit of an 
Owl Bear. Have you been following me? I'm listening in on my Yeah, that's what's going on here. <laughs> she breathes heavily through her mouth really close to you. <laughs> oh, that's soup. <laughs> <laughs> like coming out of her <laughs> like when spraying. It's a, a breath weapon. <laughs> That would be Agatha's Shout mutton her. stew. It's the oh, it's some <laughs> The <laughs> mutton stew only happens on Wednesdays. That's Manhattan why you come here. Breath it's weapon. a mutton stew. <laughs> it's a mutton stew. Yeah, on Wednesdays, oh. prepared by Agatha. Oh. Yeah. Mutter mutton. <laughs> it's Wednesday. Okay. Oh, I never thought about the irony of my name and the stew, but I can't help but like it even more now. Well, Mutter, I hope you all succeed in your mission. Oh, we will. I wish you the best of luck in doing that quest. Hey, hey um, I couldn't help it over here, but if you're going to go on that Albert quest, could you do it like now? And then if you don't come back in like an hour, we can go, or maybe we just, or maybe you just, you, so you're just successful and we don't Once have to go do that Once it thins them out a little bit. Or you not, yeah. Yeah. Hova's yeah. haggards work on our own <laughs> schedule, and I've got a few more ales I'd like to imbibe first. The name just like... <laughs> Falls off your tongue <laughs> like soup. Like it doesn't soup. roll. It doesn't roll. Just, just like chowders clump, out. Like clumsily rolls down a mountain. Okay. Thanks, Mutt. Good to see ya. See ya, Mutt. Okay, later, I guess. Oh, should I leave now? Okay. If you could. And she turns around and goes to sit with her friends. Um, she said that she wants to have a couple more drinks first, which means we could beat her to the owl bear and save everybody first. Just then, the door swings open, slamming on its hinges, and you see a man in a blacksmith's um, smock stumbling in. His arm, a stump, bleeding profusely Ooh. as he struggles with his other hand to staunch it, uh, and holding him up is a small woman, humanoid, uh, also wearing an apron, and um, looks very much at home as she says, move out of the way! And she sits him down on a table as she says, Portos, get my medical kit! This has been another attack! Wait! And I you know, draw out from my bag a large cream tart and throw it frisbee style. As I say, snack, go! And <laughs> snack's going to fly through the air, and I'm trying to, and he's controlling it too, but land him right on the stump. And as the stump enters the custard, it, it's how I cast Healing Word oh, to God. try and staunch the bleeding. Great, go ahead and cast it. Visual. Great, here it goes. <clears throat> and now he has a pastry arm. Pastry arm. Pastry, pastry arm. arm. Pastry arm. <laughs> hey, that is a total of uh, seven healing, and I add four to that, so 11 points of healing. Describe to me how pastry staunches, cauterizes, and You're not starts gonna like to it. heal this wound. Okay, so uh, Snack goes flying out. Eventually, all of its little arms and legs stretch out, like, to grab on to the stump. It stuffs the stump into its uh, custard head, and you see the brulee action start to really kick off. It starts to bubble and char, and you hear the sizzling as it withdraws the stump from its custard head, and it's perfectly cauterized and sealed off. And it smells like vanilla. The woman who had been helping this blacksmith smocked man on the table her eyes go wide in shock. Her long brown hair pushed over her shoulder and spattered with blood. She says, uh, I think he's stabilized. Incredible. It's the least I can do. Oh, she's looking straight at the little snack tart. Oh. <laughs> Not at you. You get no credit as she lifts up snack you and really says, is hero. three cheers for this tart. Hip, hip. <laughs> Hooray. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hooray! Hip, hip! Hooray! The entire uh, very full tavern cheers along with you before they go back to their ales and mate. Didn't realize the tart was the protagonist today. <laughs> Doing a lot of stuff, good stuff, bad things. Good things and bad things. <laughs> Should we go talk to them about the thing that ate them that was probably an owlbear? Oh, yeah, yes. Yes. 
He leans up, uh, the man on the table, his face blanched with the blood loss. <gasps> He's got uh, a little ponytail, um, shoulder length oh. hair. He says, you're right. Everyone has the same accent. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and I was yeah. very, very, very barely. Hi, uh, you're right. <laughs> oh, different guy, okay. <laughs> Damn. Oh, okay. Wait, wait a minute, totally this is someone there. else. But he was a genius. And uh, <laughs> the blacksmith falls back, passed out on oh. the table. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're not gonna get to ask him any questions. Well, we did get one clue, and that is that the owlbear is very smart. So smart owlbear who loves to eat arms. Did he say it was eaten or, or ripped off? Well, it's not there. Well, for what it's worth, we've already battled a very intelligent, very witty dragon before mm -hmm. in a prior adventure. And I think we could handle this. <laughs> it's so awful. <laughs> I think we could handle this. Well, I don't feel like, I don't remember that going super great, but. Um, no, it was good. Was it? Okay. Yeah. That's your problem. Worked out. There is a man who has staunched bleeding on this table who just told you about an owlbear and then passed out. Uh, you have, of course, Mutter Bello sitting at the table behind you. What would you all like to do? Okay. So. We get up the mountain, we save everybody <clears throat> first. Yep. What, what's in it for us, though? What do we do? Why are we? I thought we were on vacation. Kind yeah, of. we're really supposed to be on vacation, guys. But I've, isn't this a vacation? Yes. Isn't this uh, bringing our services to the world, helping people everywhere? Yes. That's, no, that's what we do. That, that's a work trip. Well. Oh, oh, uh, work uh, vacation? Um, uh, I. Hmm. What part of this is a vacation? <laughs> Was it a part where we were camping and I. Ate a weird, I drank a weird coffee and had to go to the bathroom, or is it the part where... Evanora, yes. I think we should tell them. Listen, guys. I know we said this was going to be a vacation where we all just let loose, relax, and try and um, get away from the adventuring for a little bit, Yeah, but I put it on the back of my shirt. Let loose. <laughs> <laughs> but We're still gonna let loose! We, we are, we are, but we were talking, and we thought we did such a good job in... Terra Hova, that if we just, you know, prove the concept outside of that little hamlet, then maybe we'd really start to catch on, you know? Well, we maybe we could increase tourism of people that are coming through Terra Hova if they knew that there were incredible adventurers and heroes there and great stuff to see and very dry dirt and nobody seems to know. I mean, know. you heard the barkeep. Right. They'd never even heard of Hova's heroes. We could put Terra Hova on the map. We can change all that. And... I suppose I have something to confess as well. I was using this as a little mini work vacation also to spread the word of the great old one, but I don't feel like I was really hiding it. Oh yeah, that was super yeah, clear was, actually. Okay. Yeah, All right. That was on purpose. Honestly, huh? I do think the tap toe was the only one actually on vacation. Oh. Yeah, I, but I got boundary issues, so yeah, I'm, I'm down to do this too, guys. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> or like, like issues as in that you're cool for us to not break them. Peer pressure I, works on yeah, you. I, just I, then you yeah. notice once again, standing just outside of your little group is the short, woman wearing the apron with the long brown oh. hair. She's holding snack as a peace oh. offering and says, I just wanted to come and thank you. You really saved that man. He's yes. a regular here. He's our nearby blacksmith. It's the least that Hova's heroes can do for you. Who is that? I've well, this is crazy. <laughs> that's us. We're that's, we're he we're heroes from Terra Hova. You should probably put us on the wall. It's like a mile down the road. It's right there. It's so close. It's the damp spot on the map. Oh, the damp spot <laughs> where yeah. the snow was. Every day. Yeah. Mm. At the bottom of the hill, mm -hmm. in the sh shade where it's always wet. Yeah. But Downhill from everywhere. That's our motto. <laughs> well, only one place to go but up. Yep. You could put that on a t-shirt, I imagine. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think it's, it's on there. It's on my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> it's around the bed. <laughs> on your underwear, underwear <laughs> says no <laughs> place to go but up. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Some people put their names, but... <laughs> It's a double entendre. You know, we could use someone like you <laughs> helping with our gift shop merch. Let me ask, what kind of names would you put on key chains? Oh, key, key chains? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we call them around here. No, oh. I know. I saw, I saw the big oh. sign that key says chums. key chains. <laughs> key chains. Yeah, you got a key chum, so. I don't know, just like regular names, like Poppin' Stuff, and... Oh, uh, uh, you know, maybe <laughs> Swam would be a good one Swam, to Swam put on one. Yeah. Swam's a good one, yeah. The Great yeah. Knight, Evanora Dagenhart. Yeah. I yeah. lots of fit on a keychain, but I think they could do Maybe a few more bo boards. 
Okay, well, we'll think about that. (laughs) Meanwhile, thank you for your service with uh, the little um, creature here. I don't know how many more I can put in my pack. And please, uh, tell Portos to get you a cup and help yourself to the the mutton stew I've made. We make it every Wednesday. Well, we have come from a land of a lot of soup, so I feel (laughs) I might be okay without that. Oh, you haven't tried any mutton stew until you've tried mine here. And oh. she gets a bowl uh, and oh, passes oh. it to you with a oh. big wooden spoon. You know, I mean, uh, we appreciate the real like hero treatment yeah, yeah, here, yeah. of course, because we are mm-hmm. heroes. Sure, um, this is a hero well, stew. This will really clean you out if you've got anything. Oh, no, 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 least, no, no, no. We've already experienced <laughs> that today. The queue for the ad house is longer, <laughs> Bazile. Um, but I was thinking, um, I mean, we were planning on probably heading out soon to go and save yeah. everybody. To the forest. To protect you. The owl bear. From the owl bear. Yeah. They would appreciate that. I am scared to walk out to the trash pile, even. <laughs> Did, wow. Does the owl bear come here sometimes and like hang out in your trash area? It seems that the owl bear is targeting the nodding dragon most of all. Did Where you? does landfill end and forest begin? It's. Well, just beyond the landfill is the forest, oh, but sometimes you. we do throw the bags just well, further in the forest. Terrible. Could this have been? Okay, look, I'm not. Not to say that like. We're looking for any solution. If well, you know about the infrastructure of starting a town and how yeah. to deal with the hygiene and sanitation. Well, if perhaps you've been wantonly uh, polluting the forests mm-hmm. with your landfill, could that be why the owl bear is a little bit cross with you? I don't follow. Okay, right. um, yeah, never mind, we'll, we'll follow up on that. Or... Anyway, uh, there is something strange about this owlbear's doings. Oh? oh? It seems to be most interested in those that like the arcane, the magical, mystical. I don't oh. have any such powers. What are you doing this, Mom? Oh, I was having like a moment where the camera pans slowly into uh-huh. you. Yeah, I was just taking, sorry. It's, it pans slowly in, what does it see? Yeah, it's my hands. Oh no, <laughs> you, your hands sweaty? you see as Swam is lost in thought and is looking at his hands quivering that are slowly steaming and smoldering as bread pulled from a fresh baked oven. And you actually notice how if you, anyone were to look at his palms, he turns them out. In black ink, all of these little like Arcane uh, mm. recipes almost just fill out all over his palms like you're scrolling down a recipe list. And he's using she his. Your palms oh. and says, oh, Agatha's mutton stew right there. Everything I smell, I know. <gasps> it's a curse. <laughs> Be careful, young one. She looks way up at you. The owlbear may want to hurt your kind most of all. We don't know why. Oh no. Okay, God. first of all, I also do magic, but I don't, oh, like, yeah. I don't like to show it off. Like, I don't have like, a Yeah, cool, it doesn't like brag I've just got like, a book <laughs> full of like, you know, cool spells that my... No, that's great. Like, that's that's yeah. better. I just bake. Um, and then if you if the camera pans in <laughs> on my hand, <laughs> it's, I have the soup in one hand, and I don't want the soup part of it, so I've taken the mutton out. Like, I'm just grabbing the mutton, kind of squeezing it to try to eat just the <laughs> Ringing it out. Ringing out And the that's what the camera sees on mine. And anyway, and I don't need to put things on my hands. I've got books and notebooks and, you know, just, you know, you said I should eat it. The driest mutton I've ever seen. I'm tired of soup. Oh, <laughs> oh for God. <laughs> Only solids oh, from no, now yeah. on. <laughs> Let's see that con save. Or check or whatever. Let's you call it a check. Soup, but then I, had, it I already had it on save. Hey. It's a plus three in my aura. Hey. It's a save. Hey. It's a save. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're a great. paladin, right? Con save. I am. Yeah. Uh, that was uh, 8, 17, 18, 19, 20, uh, 19. Wait. Nice. Wait, with plus well. three? Yes. Oh, 21. Nice. Take five temporary hit points. What? <laughs> the mutton Da-na-na-na. stew the power is of dry delicious. Mutton. And, uh, you know, a, a, a moist or not, it infuses you with magical energy and healing. I love it. I want that on the pillow. Just then, Mutter Bellow steps in front of your path to the door uh. and says, here's one last thing. My adventuring party will be the only one to save people Nuh-uh. here today. Yeah. No. Yeah. Mother Bello, you, you and I go back pretty far. We have a profound respect for each other, and so it is with the utmost of friendship and kindness I say this. If you think you will get there before us, 
and save these people before we can, we're gonna freaking stomp you. Yes! How about this? Was that okay? Oh my god, I can't be, I hate being mean. Super intense. Did you Perhaps. Like them? <sighs> Perhaps we wager first to see who is best suited to save the tavern. I'm all in. And okay. everyone suddenly seems to be paying attention. You hear a loud cheer. They really like gambling. Tables and chairs scrape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and one table sits in the middle. It's got uh, two of Mutterbella's companions, the dragonborn and the gnome, um, sitting there. And uh, Mutterbella says, it's time for the hunt. Oh, <gasps> oh. oh. local oh, legends mini game. Yay. So I'm gonna need everyone to choose. Uh-oh. What? One of these D12s. Okay. That one's a pinky one. I picked the white one. You sit down at Mutterbello's table for what you know well, an old mini game called The Hunt. <gasps> Each character puts in 20 gold pieces in this winner-takes-all game. Each player will take their d12, set it to a value only they know, hide that die, and then we'll begin by one player asking another, is your value x? If it is x, they reveal and are eliminated. If it is not, that player says higher or lower, then they may ask someone else. Everybody get it? Yes, yeah. yes. All right. Who do we know who goes first how? <laughs> who do we know goes first how would be uh, determined by a die roll. Oh. You've got four, five, six, seven people at the table, so give me a D7. A D... A D I'm just what? <laughs> now, I'm gonna roll a D6. What? One, uh. two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I see. Okay. I go first. Hey. Michelle goes first. Okay. Diesel. I want to pick my number. It's bad. Oh yeah, everybody secretly pick your numbers. <laughs> I'm just going to roll. I've already chosen mine. Also, if you guys win, can you give me my money back? Because I've been saving for a long time. <laughs> this is also all the money that I have. This is, yeah, even, seriously. I think we're all poor. We don't, have to, we don't even have 20 gold. And we'll divvy up everything. I think we have 20 gold collectively. Yeah, like I have one, you've got one, <laughs> yeah. you've got 19. <laughs> I don't know, Evanora did raid that dragon horn. I did, That's actually. Uh, we are actually rolling in it now. Oh, okay, good. Oh. I so maybe you throw in the 80 yeah, gold yeah. pieces yeah, for yeah. everyone. Yeah. I will. As the, and I will company still redistribute it to everyone after. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, All right. Okay, let's see. Let's start with the whoever started this. So, Marabello, uh, do you, uh, did you pick a seven? No, it's lower. Lower? Okay, great. Mm. I'm gonna pick on Swam, no reason. <laughs> Wink. Is your number six? No, Mutterbello. It's lower. Lower than six. <clears throat> okay, Swam's turn to ask. Okay, now, so I clarify one point of the rules. Are we against each other as well? You are. Oh, okay. Well, I don't want to do that. So, uh, <laughs> um, Paprika. Let's hear that voice. What's up? What's up? I'm a dragon boy. <laughs> oh, well, oh, hello. Oh, okay. That intense oh, we're My nice. name's Paprika. Oh, uh, yeah. Guys. I have a religion you should follow. We worship dust mites. It's the southern dialect. Guys. Right? I feel like. It sounds exactly like Basil, right? Am yeah. I wrong? Am I wrong? Like it's uncanny. It's uncanny. like uncanny house. It's okay. yeah. Categorized souls like one and the same thing. It could be your like, twin. We're basically the same. Um, okay. Hi. Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, nine. Lower. We're all, we're all rolling low. Evanora. Yes. Eight. No. Lower. Oh, lower than an eight. Oh, well, we all pick low numbers. <laughs> Um, okay, the people <coughs> at the table, no, the fairy is not shoe, there. Mutter and shoe. paprika. All right, fancy toes over there. Is your number a five? Well, I do say, no, it's not a five, it's actually lower. Hmm. Hello, good chap. He yeah, straightens his bow tie. Oh, I really like your bow tie. Ah, I really like your tourist uh, attraction. Oh, uh, thanks, yeah. Hove is where the heart is? Yeah, yeah, I drew the I drew the roller coaster myself, and that's us in the front. Life is a <laughs> roller coaster, is it not? 
Yeah, it kind of is. It's written. You never know what you're going to get. So it's, on a, it's on the sleeve. <laughs> well, then I'll ask you, do you have a two under your hand? Oh, no, it's it's higher than that. Higher than a two. Do you want me to tell you what my number is? Yes, please. Oh, no, don't. No, oh, no. Hey, oh, sorry. No, Wait. I'm not allowed. Save it for the end. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's cool. Um, hey, um, Motorbello. Yeah. Um, hey, are you okay? I mean, like. That's a complicated question. There's a lot going wrong in the world. There's an owlbower out there. And also, I have complicated feelings that border uh, vastly between love and hate. What's your question? Yeah, you guys got this will they, won't they thing going on. It's just won't. It's won't they, won't they. Yeah, won't they, won't they. I'm, I'm, really, I'm, really, I'm really pulling for you. Hey, is, is, uh, is, your, <laughs> is your number three? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a three. All right. Oh. Hey, I'm just going to take all your gold. <laughs> yeah. Put it over the winner here. takes all, but whatever okay, makes yeah. you Okay, yeah. Well, I just don't want it on your side anymore. All right. <laughs> just, just big show and paprika. So you can who, choose collectively to just knock them out if that's how you prefer so to play. If someone gets eliminated, who goes next? Oh. Do I go again? Go again. Cool. Hey, paprika. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm I'm it's like you're throwing I your voice. Red dragon. <laughs> hey, is uh is your number five? Much lower. Oh okay. Why did I tell you? <laughs> you're just you're just an honest kind soul. <laughs> Something about your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> what? Whoa, hey! Right. Will they, won't they? Who's Will to say? They, won't we're they? All, we're it's weird because that person is so similar to one of your friends. And they sound so much alike. Yeah. The um, almost identical to you, but red ancestry, dragon porn. Um, looks to you, Basil. Boozle. You? What's up? <clears throat> oh, I don't know anything about you yet. Um, Basil. Mm hmm. Is your number a three? Um, no, it's higher. I, I think I'm the only person who picked a higher number than everyone else here, it seems like. <laughs> okay, your turn. Um, uh, who's left? Um, the large shoe person? Well, yes. <laughs> it's nice to make your acquaintance. The numbers? Y y yes, uh, <laughs> uncanny. Um, how about uh, uh, three then? Higher. Oof. I think. I'm <laughs> 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 pretty sure you're gonna walk on that, that one. It's difficult to say. I have a feeling. It could be anything. Hmm. Hmm. I have an int of. Oh, uh, but that does make it my turn, does it not? Swam. What? Hello. Hi. Shoe. Hmm. I do like when you call me that. No, nope, oh. it was British before. Please don't say that. <laughs> uh, your number, uh, Swam, is it a four? No, it's not. I'm afraid it is even lower. Lower than a four. <clears throat> okay. Uh, hmm. Oh, paprika and big shoe. Let's get more of you all out of here. <laughs> hey, hey, shoe. Hey. Still, still me over here. Sorry, big. Yeah. Uh, Either one is fine. <laughs> I don't mind what you call me. Just waiting for a vacation of my own. Is your number? <laughs> Wait, do we? Which one do we knock out? We knocked out oh, uh, Mutterbello. 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 Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. 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 here and Big Shoes here. Is your number a four? How did you know? I did say it was less than five. <laughs> More than, than three. three. And somehow you've deduced it is indeed. I'm the a wit four. of the group. Yay! Whoa. Big Shoes stands from the table and is smaller than the table uh, when standing and. Walks away to watch with the rest of the crowd. Just Paprika sits. <clears throat> hey, Paprika. Oh, is it me you're speaking to? Hate it. It Everyone is you. I almost did it back to you, I swear to God. Okay. <laughs> um, paprika, <clears throat> is your number a two? It's lower. <gasps> I wonder what that could be. I'll get you all out before you have the chance. <laughs> <laughs> Evanora. Yes? Your number. Anywhere less than eight, it seems. How about a seven? <laughs> it is not a seven, it is lower. We're going one by yeah. one. <laughs> Actually counting it down. Yeah. Take no risks, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I guess that makes it my turn, Paprika. 
Now earlier you did say that it was way lower than a five, <laughs> and uh, then you said it was lower than a two. So good clue. Yeah. I'm gonna guess. Is your number a one? <gasps> No! How did you ever? Yes, it's a one. Oh, okay. Look, you guys, won. the friends have won. The friends, the Hobus heroes, have successfully completed the hunt Woo! mini game without having to go at each other. Uh -huh. That's great. Yeah. Wait, what was everybody's number? Every tavern of local legends comes with a mini game. Oh yes, what were your numbers? I was eleven. Ten, nice. Yeah. I forgot we could go that high. Really wasn't guessing Listen, in that realm. I want to point out the fact that I hate that me and Mutterbello chose the same number. <laughs> oh, did you really <laughs> did? We both chose three. Mutterbello. Oh my god. Once this is revealed, stares at you for a long time, then slowly comes over, comes way too close to your face, and says, "So much chowder." <sighs> okay, so. <clears throat> I guess uh, it's clear. This time around, you'll be the ones to fight the owlbear. But I just want you to know, we could have done it. Oh no, I know you, you could have. We're just gonna do it before you. And better. And better, yeah. All right, we'll come in later to clean up your mess. Actually, yes, if you guys can start literally. working on the landfold, that'd no, be great. I, mean, uh, I think the trash is part of the problem. If you can like handle that. Swam. Do you think there's anything to the fact that our numbers were the same? No, I think we both kind of went with the strategy of low but not too low, which didn't end up working that well for you, actually. I don't want to talk about yeah. it. Anyway, I'll just get more mutton stew. You've never seen her sadder as she goes Aww. to sit with her defeated friends. <gasps> yes! I don't feel super good about that, actually. But I feel better. Oh. Yeah. Well, we can always get Tiniest high five. Different feelings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like a thumbprint. It is a strong one, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can see the sting is the shape of those spells that you were mentioning. <laughs> My earlier. palm bulges out the other side right there. <laughs> uh -huh. It's a Let's powerful go. high five. All right, uh, do you set off into the forest? Yeah. I do make a very like flashy exit though as we're like heading the door, uh, just like announcing to everyone in the tavern, like we're off to protect you all. Just so you know. As a reminder, we are called Hova's Heroes, and we will be back very soon. But with there's lots of information you can read about while you wait. Cream puffs for everyone. The four of you head out behind the nodding dragon, behind the giant trash pile, following the trail of trash into the forest further on. And uh, the sun is getting lower in the sky. It's getting a little chillier as you start heading um, towards a mountainous slope. And as you go through the trees, this dense cove, I need everyone to give me a survival check. Oh, I know how to do those. 19. 19. 12. 17. 17. 13. 12. 13. Swum and tap toe. Uh, <laughs> you are lost from the moment you set foot in here. Trees look like trees everywhere you look, immediately turning you around. But Evanora and Basil, you know forest and you know sense and you know what it feels like to be on a mission. Your self-induced knighthood uh, guides you along, and, and the power of the Great Old One also guides you. As you know, it feels like uh, northeast is the direction you should head as you go, and the trees start to thin out a bit as you reach a snowy clearing, which seems to have some sort of enchantment upon it as it was a hot summer day outside the Nodding Dragon. Oh, looks like someone else has snow magic. Because <laughs> I have cold breath more than the last time. Yeah. yeah. Before we go any further, mm -hmm. I think it's important we prepare for what might be coming. And Swam is going to pull out a quarterstaff and stick it into the ground. <clears throat> and you see where it hits the soil, a little... Um, Purple, like the, the, the flower of an orchid pops up out of, out of the earth, and he plucks the flower out and hands it to Evanora. 
And as you take it, you feel uh, yourself imbued with bear's endurance. You gain 2d6 temporary hit points and advantage on constitution checks. Roll up those 2d6. All right. <laughs> oh, two more. <laughs> you okay. know what? You're welcome for both of those. <laughs> hey, thanks so much. Uh, great. But um, advantage on con. Advantage on con checks or saves or one of those. Yeah. You know what? You are the one who's our heavy hitter. You're in the front lines. It's important you can you can tank it. Thank you, Swap. Yeah. Does Taptoe do anything to prepare? Uh, Taptoe pulls out his curtain rod. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> of course he still that has plus it. Plus one curtain rod. <laughs> the curtain rod that he has from a time ago. Uh, yeah, pulls it out from the back. Takes out little mini curtains that he already has on it that he keeps wrapped up. That's how he keeps it wrapped. Pulls out the curtain ring and now it's out. Absolutely, Taptoe carries his plus curtain. one curtain rod with him. And um, take inspiration oh. for remembering the thing that helped bring you success in the past and keeping that totem with you. Let's see, love anyone it, else? Love it. Um, Basil takes their, uh, the tome out and rips a page out, crumples it up, eats it, and opens her mouth and a bunch of flies come out and my cloak of flies is activated. So mm. how that like works man. is that, I think I used it last time, I can't remember, but if you are in my in my space, you get some poison damage. So everyone back oh. up a bit. Ooh. You just <clears throat> see a bunch of flies going around me. I guess that's a fly sound. If you would please, uh, you are coming from this direction, mm -hmm. everyone. So I'll place you on the map. Uh -huh. um, I'd be towards the front for sure. Small bean in front. Small bean with my little tiny battle axe. Where's uh, the rest of our marching order here? I'd be up there with um, with Evanora. I have to make sure I can reach her with heels and such. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's um, not me. Oh, I'm the dragon. It's me, the dragon. I built the no, I'm thing. dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be, yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Just... If Swamp falls down, he dies. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone know that? I'm going to be a hard thing. <laughs> it's like a shark, how if they stop moving, they'll drown. Yeah. yeah. Should we give you a little space, Basil, for oh, your right. flies? For the flies. Okay. For it's, the flies. It's a for the flies. The the flies. It's a five foot oar. <laughs> As you each move forward into the center of the clearing, holding your flies and your curtain <laughs> rods at the ready with a snack in your hands. Oh, I was imagining you holding a handful of flies in your a pile of flies. You hear an earth-shattering growl erupt that feels like it's echoing off of all of the snow and all of the trees around you, so much so that the earth starts to shake and snow from the mountaintops above all races down the hillsides towards you. Everyone roll for initiative. Oh, jeez. You stand in the middle of an avalanche. I have snow. other priorities Fight right now. Snow. Ooh, uh, fancy. Six. <laughs> 23. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh. Our first <laughs> decent roll of the day, 18. 18. That's gonna be a 10 for me. Oh, ten. beans. Oh, oh, beans. Beans. Okay, so we've got Tap Toe, then Swam, then Evanora, and then Basil. No. <clears throat> Go ahead and uh, before we jump into combat with Tap Toe, <laughs> Roll for dexterity as the snow comes rolling towards you. A save? A dex save, yes. Everyone gets plus three. Okay. Oh, beans. 14. It's a six, oh. and I don't want to talk about it. Got an 11. 11. 28. 28. 14. You can go 14. home. <laughs> Uh, and even with the plus three, you have a six? Yes. Yeah, Swam, you are not prone, as is Evanora, when the snow, uh, but Evanora, with your flying, you're able, um, even without missing the deck save, uh, you actually, flutter above. Uh, yeah, you flutter above. Swam, you are not prone for the beginning of combat, so you'll have to take half your movement there. Um, tap toe. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> what's up? Um, you heard a growl but you don't know exactly where it came from. Ooh, yeah, uh, I want a perception check all around, like what's going on. Uh, we're surrounded by trees, now covered in snow. 
Yes, um, everything is covered in snow where you are. Um, some sort of magical snow because it, it didn't seem to be snowy when you walked in here. And uh, yeah, there's just a clearing ahead of you. Okay, yeah, I wanna really take a look around. All right, give me a perception roll. Okay. 11. 11. Uh, with an 11, you don't see anything. Okay. Uh, I'm going to walk over uh, to Swam and try to help him up. Sure. Because isn't he covered? You're I'm prone. prone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can so use your fine. action to help Swam up. Yeah. For sure. Do I need All help right. for that or just, I could just. Uh, you can just help with yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. I imagine we do like the predator, like. Things. <laughs> uh, uh, son of a bitch. Did anyone no, see that? Very little. It was pretty cool. <laughs> I know you're so small. <laughs> it was so cool how strong I am. <laughs> I'm also, like 6'9. Also, it, I'm cold as balls right now because <laughs> I'm in shorts and flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anyone remembers that. Uh, the only place to go is. <laughs> your hand in my hand is like. <laughs> <laughs> As you have your moment of glory and realize how cold you are, the owlbear oh. emerges from the trees across from you. Uh, oh, he's a big boy. Fact, is that the scale? Are we gonna die? He's, he's behind <laughs> yeah. this mountain here uh, to your left. And as he emerges, he drops to all fours and starts charging full speed at you. What's this speed? Oh god, it's a lot. And is staring at Evanora. He's going to rear back his beak and chomp at you. Does a 19 hit? 19 just hit. He swings at you for seven points of slashing damage. Um, and then um, as he claws at Evanora, hovering, he reaches over and Swam is going to bite at you. Oh no. Does a 10 hit? Uh, no. Yay. Over Evanora's Barely. head, the beak sn slashes at you, but it does not make contact. <gasps> Next up, Evanora. Yes, okay, uh, first of all, as a bonus action, uh, after he like swipes at Swam past me, she gets really annoyed that like, like I'm right here, I'm right in your face. So she has compelled duel on him as a bonus action first, oh. uh, so that he may only fight me. Gosh darn it, that is a wisdom save. A wisdom save. And is the owlbear wise? Is the owlbear wise is a great question. That's a, of uh, 13? At 14 is the DC. Just barely makes it. Okay. Um, it, it does make it. Oh wait, you said it, I rolled a 14. Oh, you rolled a 14. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, beans. Yeah, so yeah, the DC was 14, so beats it, beats it. Okay, uh, well then he can hit whoever he wants, but that was only my bonus action. I am still going to attack twice. Okay. Um, and I am going to swing and smite. Okay. Does a 13 hit? A 13 hits. Ooh, okay. And then for the second one, that is the exact same roll somehow. They are both 13s to hit. Um, and then I will cast some hefty smites on those. Ooh. The first one is 16 points of damage. The second one is 23 points of damage. Woo! Uh, so they're both at second level smites. Um, with my long sword, or I mean my uh, tiny uh, hand axe. Um, so she just like dodges the thing that goes over her head and then in like, a, like upset that if she wasn't braver to like stand in front of it, she strikes twice uh, at both sides of like his arms. Okay, excellent. Next up. Swamp. Okay, I'm up now. <sighs> Thanks. <sighs> Thanks, little guy. Um, I'm gonna stand up. And I'm gonna take a snack and throw him into the air because he will go after my turn, so we'll get to him in a second. Sure. Um, I, in the meantime, am going to run up, and you all now see as Swam is approaching the owlbear, he has a tattoo in the shape of giant angry eyebrows on his forehead um, as I use my masquerade tattoo to create an angry face <laughs> on my face. Um, I'm gonna run up. 
Uh, I'm going to use a ray of sickness Ooh. at second level. And, bink. I believe that'll be a con save. Okay. Oh no wait, that is just a roll to attack. Oh no wait, that is a con save. <laughs> con save? <laughs> I'm rolling for the attack and you roll to get the extra poison damage. Here it comes! That is a 21 to hit. That hits. Beautiful. And then you take 4d4 acid damage. And did you save? 44? 4d4. Thank you. <laughs> uh, it's a 12. Beautiful. So that does not save him? That does not. I believe yeah. I'm at least a 13 on the spell save DC. You will take 13 points of damage from the actual like ray itself. And then, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. yeah, there you go. And you will be uh, poisoned until the end of your next turn. And then we have a snack. I'm also gonna use my bonus action to clear whatever distance I need here. I can also rush the target to try and just get in his face and get very just distracting and annoying. Um, the least tanky character here, by the way. Uh, snack is gonna go now and use a ranged attack, which, eh, I'll just roll. Okay, I think he's got like a plus four, call it a 16 to hit. 16 hits. Beautiful. And that was like a 2d4 plus four or something. A total of 10 more damage as Snack now descends in that giant arc. And you see as his brulee begins to bubble and he cracks the top of his head, the sugar, and splits it open. And uh, the wet custard <laughs> comes splashing out over the owl bear, burning its face and eyes. Okay, uh, as that happens, its face is burned by the creme brulee as its feathers start to fall out of its head. And it looks like it's melting. Like this owlbear is made of ice cream and that is just dripping away. Feathers fall to the ground as beneath its feathered head is revealed a humanoid head as it, it, about where its chest was and uh, the man shudders and off of him falls even more owlbear flesh. When it falls to the ground, it dissolves into pools of ichor and you see a man with bark-like hair, tendrilous plants um, all over his body as if they were making up the difference between his size and this owlbear. And his eyes dance around at each of you in this bird-like way as the owlbear is replaced with a druid. He runs back towards the rock he was coming from. Oh, Opportunity attack. From from each of them. Yes! <laughs> uh, it's 25 to hit. That hits. Oh my god. Nine points of damage. And for me, that'll be... I'm gonna hit him with my flower staff. Um, that'll be 20 to hit, dirty. Uh, that hits. Hell yeah. And that's a total of seven points of damage as I smack him, and if possible, I'd love a little like Daisy to boop right where I hit him. Oh yeah, Daisy definitely spurts out um, as he runs backward and says, no, no, the, oh, the gods, the gods are mine and mine alone. But it is now. Oh, you're saying that in front of like the wrong crowd. This is a fantasy Scooby-Doo situation, you guys. Scooby-Hoo? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Scooby. It's a play I'm working on. <laughs> and as you hear the gods are mine alone, mm -hmm. Basil, it's your moment. Okay, I'm just taking that to mean that you're not like under the control of the owlbear and you weren't just wearing a cool mascot costume, that you are like evil and want to destroy everything or something. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> I move forward to maybe 30 feet, not too, not super close, just, just to get into range, 60 feet-ish. And I, uh, um, I take my talisman out, which is this large necklace and it's got like all these little jewels on it. And I grab one of the jewels off of it and I hold it up. No one controls the gods. The gods actually control all of us. <laughs> and my eyes get a little crazy. I crush the um, jewel and I cast Shatter. So uh, there is a save, a constitution saving throw uh, of 13. And if they don't make it, they still take damage. They did not make it. 14 points of total damage. 
All right. Uh, it, it, he shudders with this shatter and cowers as you chop off some of the tendrils of limbs um, with it as well. All these green tendrils falling off of him and he just cowers further beside this mountain as we head back to Taptoe. Oh man, what do I see? Is this guy like really messed up? <laughs> you see, <laughs> he was messed up to begin with if we're being honest. But um, now he looks, uh, he's bleeding from various, like a shatter, scatter shot on his face. And he looked withered and beyond old to begin with. Like magical means have kept this being alive. Um, oh God, I'm gonna regret this, but. Kept it in work. Nope. I'm, I'm gonna run up to him and, and try to get him to stop by persuaded him to stop fighting us. Uh, so I want to like run forward and be like, hey man, we're on vacation right now. <laughs> can you just like, whatever this is, can you just like chill out for a second? Uh, I'm gonna need. Yeah, do you want to like, I'm trying to get him to stop like fighting us. Sure, persuasion? Okay. Let's do it, Tattoo. Okay. Could I possibly assist him with that? Yes. Okay, because um, I also want to uh, point the flower in his face and say, look, we're also all about nature. We're here to help you. Just talk to us. And we're like gripping her battle axe. But if you don't want to talk to us, we have other things we can do. Just up to you, really. That is the, the, the uh, 20? Okay, with the dirty, dirty 20, 20? Uh, <laughs> it was a DC 18 and <gasps> why? Did you come to my grove? All I ever wanted was to have the power of the god to myself. Oh man, that seems like a lot. I mean, we heard that there was like an owlbear like killing people, hurting people. Only when they come into my grove. And as he holds out the O, uh, snow starts to fall once again from the trees. Okay, this guy is like lost, he's like, so is this not about the trash and the pollution and stuff? <laughs> this has nothing to do with the trash. Oh wow! Oh, that was okay. amazing. We were really following. Yeah. Are we out of initiative? Are we still in initiative? He's Just gonna try and Who's your God, bro? overcome the old druidic god. The old druidic god. Rakinus. 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 I don't feel like it's older than mine. mine yeah, so you have an old god, mine, right? Mine's called the Great Old One because it's the oldest. And that's Do they know Rakinus? I don't think that's Do they go name. back? I don't know how to talk. Kiranus. 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 I can't. Kiranus. Kiranus. Basil. Basil. None of these are my god. We're supposed to be on vacation. <laughs> With a nat 20. Oh no. He pushes through whatever persuasive magic you put on him okay. to, uh, We can just kill you. Be a cool guy. <laughs> I call it being, being super fucking chill, okay, Your whatever. chill guy <laughs> magic, vibes only like go <laughs> so far. The magic of being just totally legit. <laughs> Your chill guy vibes only go so far, and this guy has zero chill. As he reaches his arms up in one last ditch effort, a storm cloud appears above you and a bolt of lightning flashes down. Everyone must make a dex saving throw. That is very, very frightening. Hey, yo. I mean, it's I tried to get you. <laughs> Everyone has a plus three. Um, I call that a 21. Ooh. As uh, I cartwheel away. Dirty 20. Actually, 30, no, 20, 20, 21, 23. 23. I'm gonna use my talisman thing to add to this. Four, five, six, seven. Um, cause Guidance. I <laughs> Guidance. I had a D4 to it. Eight, nine, 10, 11 total. Uh, okay, on an 11, you're gonna take full damage. Cool. Um, the rest of you will only take half lightning damage 15 lightning damage for oh, wow. Basil and seven for everyone else. Okay. As he, he reaches up, calls lightning that strikes each of you. Um, you're able to step to the side, but still feel that scalding energy from the earth uh, as it gets just a, a bit of you and then falls to his knees. 
as he's expended this energy and starts weeping. <laughs> Oh, ben. Man. Oh. He yeah. always does this messed up stuff and then he starts crying and you just feel really bad. Yeah. It feels like a manipulation tactic though. Mm. It's like, true. Mm -hmm. Swamp. Yeah. It's your turn. Oh, it's me. Okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, I. <laughs> because I'm playing the character I'm playing, <clears throat> I'm going to take out uh, Snack, who has returned to me. It's like a boomerang tart um, who has returned to me. I'm going to toss him out in front of me. Hop onto the creme brulee and slalom over to. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. <laughs> Just run over, run over, little guy. Um, and I'm gonna slalom over and launch myself in the air and come down. And I wanna try and give <laughs> the druid a big hug and just pick him up and scoop him up in a warm, encouraging embrace to show him that we mean no harm and. In doing so, I'm going to cast a detect magic as I give him a big hug. Not offensively, just to get a better idea of what's going on around here and how we might be able to stop it without killing him directly, ideally. And just be like, hey, hey, little guy. Not offensively <laughs> casting detect magic, but petty. <laughs> hey, little guy, it's gonna be okay. Not We're mine. here to help you. We're here, yeah, you got some stuff in there. Uh, <laughs> I like it like this. We don't mean you any harm, man. We want to help you. Just, we have to figure out how to help you live in cooperation with the town of down the hill. It's uh, just a tavern down there. Oh, just the um, tavern. Yeah, then. when you cast Detect Magic, <gasps> you sense um, the call lightning lingers as well as a strong residual residue of what you know well from other druids in the town of Terra Hova to be a wild shape casting, but it feels like this one had been concentrated on for years and years. Can I determine at all the source of like the ambient cold and snow, like where that's coming from? Uh, Is it all just like he's actively casting this? Uh, you feel the snow itself has its own magical energy that with that detect magic doesn't feel particularly attached to the druid. So he's not making it cold is what I'm picking up on. He's not the one making it cold. You guys, he's not doing this. This isn't his fault. We the, we need to clear out the snow another way. I don't, is the snow even a, okay, hold on. <laughs> I feel yeah. like he did the lightning thing though, yeah, right? Yeah, he, did he did do that. I'm I like, got super hurt. I'm like bleeding everywhere. We're all just slugging it out. The power of God. Yeah, that's, that's super bad. And that's not okay. So can, we can set him straight. Can you ask him to stop doing that? Yeah. Hey, can you stop doing that? Once you kissed him on <laughs> his head, <laughs> something changed in him. You felt the tension in his body in love with me. lean into you <laughs> <laughs> as he said, I'm home now. Oh no! <laughs> you just got a new pet, huh? The, the camera zooms out and it's Motobello with like binoculars. <laughs> 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 Sniper just <laughs> 100%. <laughs> we drop out of initiative order as this sand druid is no longer an owlbear before you. You really beat the crap out of that owlbear. He's just a sad old old druid please leave this place and, and never come back the the power here it fills me i can't share it i'm gonna actually i'm just gonna ask you to make a con save for him okay mm -hmm. the dc of 14. it passes he passes. Okay. Um, he then this passes. doesn't do anything. It was going to be, uh, I was going to try and enlarge reduce. I was going to try and shrink him <laughs> make down. Make a little. Make a little. You can put him on a keychain. Yeah. Um, but I don't. <laughs> so that's cool. You know what? In this moment, he chooses not to resist. <laughs> I what just happens? want to make him little enough. He accepts um, the little. Yeah. He's still in Swam's arms. So I want to shrink him down to closer to our size, honestly, and just make it easier for us to. We're just gonna carry you back to the tavern, okay? And maybe once you're further away from 
the magic um, of the gods. I think it's just like this little hill. Little yeah, maybe you'll stop being such a jerk. Yeah. You know? And if not, well, I mean, we can deal with you. A little jerk, I guess. Hey, hey look, maybe Gain we can... my strength. I yeah. get bigger. No. And then, well, and then come uh, back to my listen. girl. Oh, no. And more and more Stop. people that come I, this way. This so bad. I mean, he's okay. just like a bad dude. Can we're we all, just, oh, yeah. listen, he's hang just like on. a bad guy. Okay, we're all going to have some espresso and some what? chowder. No. And we're going to talk about this. Maybe we can help you. Maybe we can help you talk to your god. And, you know, work things out with them so you have, like, a thing going with them, but we just can't have all the freezy, coldy, killy stuff going on. Okay, is that a deal? I like the killy. Can you do that? I know you do. Here's my thing, man. Like, he is giving you signs left and right. Mm -hmm. I can fix him. Holy no. heroes, I feel like we need to do a vote because this is not, it's not fair that one of us out of four is making this decision. Who wants to vote? I vote Squish. Ear muff, ear muff, ear muff. Squish. I vote Squish. Two for a squish. Okay, who votes to take this thing back to the tavern where it'll probably murder people? I mean, Look that's him. dangerous. He's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. Yeah, He's no, I think we should guy. take it back Look to the tavern. Him. I think somebody will be able to figure out what's He's trying doing. to scratch me. Oh, he's, a, oh, he's a live one. Okay, he's a little antsy. A little antsy. It's like he still thinks he has Albert claws after okay. so long being wild. Um, there we go. I think we can rehabilitate him. Yeah. I don't look at me. Okay. I'm on vacation. Fine. <laughs> take, I, how about this? The compromise. We take him back to the tavern. We give it a week's worth of effort. We extend our little vacation. And if in a week he's not better, then. I feel like we're bringing the tavern's problem to to them. No, no, he's, now. he's removed from his power, so he won't be able to. What know. if he gets to know the people of the tavern? And he's like, hey, you know. I should be friends with these people. Hey, dude, I shouldn't kill you, them. Are you looking for friendship right now? It nips at your ear. <laughs> oh, he's, he's playful. You're It'll bleeding, be. man. No. You're bleeding. No, I'm not. Oh, that's so much stuff. That was already there. <laughs> Um, oh. hey, listen, guy. You can't do it. He's, no. just, he's just cranky. He hasn't had his nap. Uh, Come on, buddy. Uh, Druid dude. Um, <laughs> oh man, you're getting worse yeah, somehow. I don't, I don't My <laughs> name is Bryant. Your name is Bryant? <laughs> As your first name? Oh my god. Little That's your given name? That's my name. given name. Okay. Isn't it intimidating? No. Uh, I know what it's like to be very small and intimidating, and I gotta say, I don't think you're doing a very good job at it. Wow, his claws lash out at you, but you're a little too far. Okay, the only way we keep him is if you decide that you keep him forever and you watch him for the rest of your life. That's what I'm designing right now. That's it. Is, is, I don't know if I'm ready for kids. Is this even your tiny baby? We cut what? back to Terra Hova <laughs> to the bakery where we see a tiny druid wearing <laughs> <laughs> every day. <laughs> an apron that matches snacks. Uh, with around. little creme brulee hair where leaves used to be. Uh, and as we come to the end of this adventure, uh, what does Swam say to little druid boy? So, little druid boy. Bryant. <laughs> he has a Bryant. name. Bryant. Bryant, the little druid boy, comes over with a tray of absolutely just smashed to shit cream tarts. And I say, you know what, buddy? This is a good lesson in, um, here's what we can do. We'll, we'll take all of these together. Look, if you mash them together, you get like a nice little like a creme pat pudding. And isn't that nice? Look what you made, little mash, buddy. Mash, 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 yeah, mash, Yeah, you know mash, what? Mash. You have your fun. Um, I'm gonna go find Evanora. <laughs> Where is Evanora? Um, Evanora has uh, brought a few tourists that you might recognize from the tavern through the town. Um, and she has brought them to their like training facility that she's been managing. And she's just showing the people of the city like doing their training. So they're all standing outside, like hitting targets and stuff. And most of them terribly, like extremely weakly. Cause like there's still not a lot of like, uh, 
well nourished, well taken care of people in this town. We're still figuring it out. We're mostly dirt. Don't have yeah. a lot of exports. <laughs> um, so they're like weekly hitting targets, and she's just like very proudly showing off the people of her town and being like, and you should spend money, and you should get an official tour. Hold on, hold on. And then she'll like big pull shoe their is hands. standing, get, taking the tour, uh, straightening his bow tie yet again, <laughs> and fluttering <laughs> ahead of them, like holding onto their hands, rushes towards uh, like the caves where typically Tapto would be giving tours. Uh, is Tapto in the cave today? Uh, yeah, and I think he's doing very well with his uh, souvenir business. His t-shirt, <laughs> his t-shirt, his uh, silk screening t-shirt company is there. Where, he, I mean, he really found his call, and he's making so much money. People come from miles and miles around to like buy his. Uh, Really cool. He's got one that says like uh, "mutton to see here" uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, he made, that he made for uh, uh, the the Nodding Dragon. The uh, Nodding Dragon definitely is selling those affiliate oh, yeah. T-shirts, <laughs> sending people coupons to go back to the cave. Uh, a beautiful symbiotic relationship, mm. and back in where the acolytes gather, those looking to find something new, to find their truest selves. In the back pew today, you notice. Someone with an eye patch and uh, hunched shoulders <laughs> comes up after your sermon. Um, did you did you have something you wanted to say? Hi there. Hey, hey, Mutt. Um, what what brings you here today? Uh, well, I just heard a rumor of, you know, what happened back in that grove, and I just thought, you know, maybe Swam won't give me the time of day, but. Maybe I s could worship the old gods with you? Oh, yes, excellent. I would like nothing more. Um, you know, I could use another, you know, sort of co-sermoner leader, and I was thinking, you know, a good way to ease people into the idea of listening would be to start doing open mic nights. <laughs> you can do them here, and then one over at the Nodding Dragon, sort of have like a tour schedule, you know, where we kind of go around, and that'd be great, we'd switch off. That's brilliant. Yes. Thanks so much to my fabulous players. Well done. You outsmarted the smart Albert. <laughs> Thanks so much to Vince Cassell, Michelle Wim Bradley, Sage Ryan, and Carlos Luna. I, I it was such a pleasure to have Hova's Heroes back again. And you friends at home, thank you especially, and thanks to Steamforged for sponsoring this video. If you want to play your own epic encounters, local legends or otherwise, you can find them on the Steamforged website. We have a link in the description below, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>